it. You have a chicken named they're, Nancy Kerrigan? Well, they're fancy chickens, <laughs> so they're <laughs> named after figure what skaters. A, okay. I'm drawing all day. This is heaven, like yeah. amazing. But my personal life was a freaking train wreck. I had a roommate pull a knife on me. What? Hey everybody, welcome to the show. As always, this is a show about screwing up, uh, making mistakes, hitting the bottom, coming back out again, and and shining so your your mom knows that you're tenacious. Like, I, I, I think, in general, this is a show about being human, because that's what we all do. Like, even though we like to tell people the great things that we've done in the world, and, and we've made it there, and it's all been perfect, that's never, ever, ever the case. So. That's what we try to uncover in having the guests on the show and figuring out exactly what they did to be successful. Tonight, we will be talking to Joanna Hawley, who runs Jojo Tastic. She's a fashion blogger, designer, small space. She's an influencer. I'm really, really excited to meet her. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. I am here with Joanna from uh, Jojo, Jojo Tastic. Um, That's me. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh, this is going to, I can already tell this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. So before we get into like all of the fun uh, mess up kind of stuff and everything we like to talk about, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about yourself, what you're doing now and um, actually just start there. Yeah. What are yeah. you, what are you doing now? So now I am a blogger, influencer, social media person, yeah. and I do some prop styling on the side. Okay. Way back when, I was a textile designer for oh, companies wow. like Nordstrom, Anthropology, and a few others. Like, and I went to school for industrial design. So okay. like, I spent a lot of time in the wood shop, building things, <laughs> like. Yeah, just feeding things through the table saw at three o'clock in the morning, like all of that. And then went into textiles after school um, and just kind of loved it and spent all of my day like in an office drawing and Photoshopping stuff. Yeah, yeah, I have <laughs> so many questions now. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, so first, and I'm not even gonna remember all of them now. So textile design, I have mm -hmm. no idea what that is. What is? If you've ever bought like a shirt, with a pattern on it, okay. chances are a textile designer touched that. So either okay. they picked the fabric that the print is printed on, yeah. or they like designed the weave. Like if you have a plaid shirt yeah. and it's it's a woven yeah. plaid shirt, they designed that. Um, or it's like, I did a lot of what's called fabric manipulation. Wait, <laughs> you walk into anthropology and there's those quilts with like a bunch of like texture and stuff on them. Okay, yeah. I did a lot of that. So I'd have fabric and I would like tuck it and pin it and yeah. all that. And then I'd send it to a factory and be like, copy this. Make this. Yeah. So that's textile design. Wait, yeah. textile designer? Is that what textile you call it? Textile designer. And then I did okay. like print design as well. So was, that is like the tiny little flowers on like a t-shirt. Yeah. And I did that for like ladies underwear <laughs> and pajamas. Yeah. How would, like, where would you... <laughs> I can't even, like, how did you get into that? Like, did you just see an open position and you're, yeah. or is it like? I saw an opos open position and the HR person had accidentally put her email address in it. So I emailed her. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? What, like, what do you, what's on your resume to say, hey, um, I can put little tiny flowers on yeah. women's underwear? I had been creating artwork for betting at a catalog company. Yeah. And so I had like a portfolio of printed duvets. Yeah. And then um, candle packaging. Printed. <laughs> I Seriously, it's so like random. Everything, everything that you're saying makes it sound like you should be much more pretentious than you are. You're like printed duvets uh, or like I'm <laughs> Euro shams. textile. The Euro, <laughs> a Matt Lise. Euro shams. Yeah. 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 Um, but you're, yeah, obviously you're not like that at all. It's. It's, I mean, it, it's underwear. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so you did that, and then you said prop, 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 prop styling. Prop styling. That's like kind of a newer thing. Okay, that's what's... a byproduct of blogging, where it's like basically with my blogging, it's like I'm a one woman like marketing machine. Yeah. So it's like a company or a brand like reaches out to me and they want to do a photo shoot, and so I like I'll shoot the photos. I do the whole concepting, yeah. write the copy, edit the photos, like everything. Yeah. Um, and so that has turned into, oh, well, we like the way your photos look. Can you make our photos look like that? Okay, I got yeah. you, I got you. Which is fun. It's basically, that? it's making stuff look pretty yeah. and then just like walking away and not having to promote it on social media. <laughs> what before that? 
What oh. drew you to this? Like this um, type of work? I mean, did you start yeah. off by... I did I, ballet I really liked the as a kid. Ballet? Like, I was really into ballet and really into like being creative. I was really lucky because my mom... I, I don't know how she met this guy, but she met a guy whose son had gone to my college, Carnegie yeah. Mellon, and he like mentioned this program of industrial design to her yeah. and like communication design, and she's like, oh, that could be interesting um, for me. And they do this pre-college program, so between your junior and senior year, you go for a summer. I know all about it. And I came back from it, and I was like, nobody can tell me anything now. I am important. <laughs> Like, I've been to college, I've lived on my own. Now, was you it know, was like, it industrial design that you studied there for that? Kind of both. Yeah. Like, they, because at CMU, the it's a four year program. Right. And the first year, you do both industrial design and communication design, and okay, then you okay, decide okay, okay. sophomore year. And so it was like a little bit of both, and I just was like, this is amazing. Yeah. And it, it clicked. Now we're at the drinking part um, of the show. This is sober, Joanna. This is going to be the best. Jack? What are we uh, What are we drinking? Yes, tonight I've got the candle and pitch for you. So we're gonna start out with our ghost whiskey, two ounces. We keep this one very spirit forward in life. 0.5 of our cedar cordial. House made. One dropper of our allspice tincture. Quarter ounce of our cherry and kefir lime shrub. And one dash of our Regan's orange bitters. And we'll fine strain that into our glass here. Now for the next part, the espuma. And then we're gonna add a few allspice berries and a little cedar frog. You have a cherry kefir lime shrub as a part of your base here. Served in a lantern, uh, so to speak. Oh That's the candle part. Can you candle it? Those are beautiful. Back. I know. Thank you. Cheers. For sure. Cheers. Thank yeah. you. Jack. Thank you. All right. Oh, and it has a straw. You ready? Now I Did we um, just pick this up? Yeah. Did we pick okay. that part up? Because oh, it's in the. That's All right. Uh, favorite way to say cheers. You got one? Opa. Opa. I'm Greek. Oh, you're Greek. Yeah. All right. So, um, Opa. Opa. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really good. So, if you were to write a blog post about yeah. this drink, like, how would you do it? Like, where would you start? It would probably be a recipe post. There's yeah. always the glamour shot, right? The recipe post. Yes. Okay. And recipes perform very well on Pinterest. I, first, you tell me. What's the construct of a recipe post? Like, okay. how would you do it? Like, how it's actually, like, yeah, the like flow what are the parts it? and how okay. they go together? Because there's the glamour shot, okay. which encourages you to click. Okay. Uh, there's an introductory paragraph, and that's usually where we pack the SEO keywords, uh -huh. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know. And then usually I, I like to do like four to five images. They're all they're actually all glamour shots, but yeah. one you know. And sometimes I'll do the ingredient shot. Like if the ingredients are especially pretty, yeah, I'll just like do like a really messy shot on like a piece of marble, <laughs> you know, like. Where does the recipe show up? Halfway down the post. <laughs> Uh huh. We need to make sure that they spend the time on the site. Yeah. You know, maybe there'll be a you. few other like uh, links to other things. As a consumer, maybe they'll subscribe to my email newsletter while they're there. <laughs> does it pop up on the screen? It does. And then go back. But down. only yeah. like every like fifth visit or something like that. Well, that's very kind of we're, you. We're subtle. Yeah. I should have brought you eggs for my chickens. Oh, I would Next love time. those. Wait, you have chickens? Oh yeah. <laughs> how Please. Many, how many chickens do you have? I have five. You have five chickens. I have five. We've had a few. Um, you had more than five casualties lately. We should pour one out, but you know. You have yeah. lots and lots and lots of eggs. Well, it depends like, on the time of year. Like oh my god. Year. Okay. Yeah. So, well, and some of the chickens don't lay because they're duds. Like Nancy Kerrigan is just like, nope, Wait, not gonna do it. You have a chicken named they're, Nancy Kerrigan. Well, they're fancy chickens. <laughs> So they're what, named after figure what, skaters. Okay, what are the other ones? Okay, so the tiniest one that just died was Tanya Harding. <laughs> Nancy Kerrigan, I call her my like emotional support chicken because she lets me hold her like a baby. Okay. And like she follows me around. She's like yeah. a big fluffy white chicken. <laughs> and then there's Dorothy Hamill. She she like rules the roost. It's her world. We're just living in it. Uh, Michelle Kwan. 
She has this like weird raspy voice where she sounds like she's had like a pack of day habit for like years. It's really weird. She lays blue eggs. She's like and the, she has like a beard. Like the Kathleen Turner of your yeah. of your. I got yeah. you. Okay. Um, Chrissy Yamaguchi. <laughs> she's. Am I allowed to curse on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're. She's a. B <laughs> she really is. She hisses at me. She's like she hates me. Yeah. But and she eats everything. Like she won't let any of the others eat. And then there's Katerina Vitt, who is like kind of the lowest on the totem pole. And she gets picked on a lot. Yeah. But she's like, she lays eggs the most consistently. Nope. The, 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 the big question for me here is, did you name them after you saw their personalities? Yes. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Let's, let's then, hope that figure yeah. skaters see. Totally. Uh, no, I like tag I that, Nancy uh, Kerrigan and I'm like, Nancy, can we be friends? Yeah. But no, it no. didn't work out. No. Yeah. yeah. Because you named a chicken. Yeah. After her, probably. But the prettiest chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that we're no longer talking about, like, no. the JoJo Tastic at all. I'm like, I mean, this Let's is talk about part chickens. of my world. Well, like, I mean, you have I'm to put that together. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And putting, uh, yeah. Because I do, like, hashtag chicken TV on Instagram stories, and people, like, <laughs> send me their own chicken TVs. So great. Uh, you have chickens and you made underwear. Um, so g getting to where you're at now with Jojo mm -hmm. Tastic, uh, uh, influencer, lifestyle blogger. Tell me a little bit more. So what I'm curious about, obviously, um, because of the show, um, is on the, the, the way to that, um, like, did you have, like, what were, the, what were the missteps? What were the mistakes? What were the things yeah. you had to learn where you're like, oh my God, I totally screwed that up. Why, like, yeah. what could I have done differently? I learned that I'm not great at like working for other people. I'm really good at working for myself, you know? So it's this constant thing of like, I have this vision and I like desperately want to share it yeah. and like be part of these teams to help with this vision, your vision, yeah, any yeah, yeah, vision, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And just not really being able like within myself to like communicate it mm -hmm. or to feel like I'm part of the team, like any of those reasons, yeah. you know? And so I left Nordstrom and went to anthropology because I they put me in this like super technical role. Oh, okay. Where it was just like emails, emails, emails. At Nordstrom's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like I was hitting my head against the wall. And so when I went to anthro, it was again, like I'm drawing all day. This is heaven, like yeah. amazing but my personal life was a freaking train wreck. Oh. I had moved to Philadelphia. Yeah. I'd never been to Philly except for like the job interview. Yeah. I get off the plane and it's like 90 degrees, 100% humidity. Yeah, yeah. There's like a drunk man yelling in the airport. I have my cat in a carrier and like two of those like really big like expedition like body bags of my personal belongings. Yeah. And I'm like, what have I done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have made a terrible mistake. Yeah. It just, it was not my place it yeah. didn't work for me yeah like I just I had like really living situation like yeah. I had a roommate pull a knife on me what like I was connected with some friends of a friend <laughs> wait, 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 and she wait, just was wait. Like, why? Why? There because be I forgot reason. to take out the recycling. I took out the trash and I forgot to take out the recycling because I got distracted. No, seriously. So she like woke me up at three o'clock in the morning when she came home from the bar and was like hella aggressive. And so I was like, I'm done. And there was like a week span where the cat and I, always with the cat, always with the we cat. slept in my Volkswagen Golf. Yeah. Outside of my office. Not many people know this. That's just <laughs> actually. That you're going into anthro anthropology <laughs> after sleeping in a golf with a cat and in a litter box knew. and like two. Nobody knew. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. Nobody knew. Yeah, and I just was like so supremely unhappy. Yeah. It was like it was just really bad, and it felt it honestly felt like it was like the deep dark period of my life. Like I yeah. still think of it as like this is the deep dark space. We will never go back here. Yeah. Around that time, I actually got a huge contract for the blog. And it was a contract that was more than my yearly salary. So you were already so you were blogging. I was blogging while before. you were there. Yeah. And what did you so what did you start blogging about? Was it about design? It, so blogging was, was really it... this weird thing that I fell into when I was the climbing bum, like living off unemployment. Yeah. I emailed Joy Cho of ojoy.com. Um, who's like the OG blogger. Yeah. And I was like, I love what you're doing and I'd love to be a part of it. And she was like, okay. 
<laughs> and so I wrote for her for three years, something like that, on her wow. site. Wow. And just learned everything about yeah. blogging from her. Yeah. And she invited me to Pinterest early. So she somehow got on Pinterest really early, I th like think as like a consultant, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And she invited me. So yeah. I have this like corny joke where it's like, I'm not the first person on Pinterest, I'm the second person. <laughs> like the Pinterest yeah. thing was growing, growing, growing. Oh, right, right. And suddenly I have 3.8 million followers. Suddenly. And I was just like, like what's the what what's the what was the drive? Like the what's the most things that people were following? Was it design? Fashion. Inter fashion. Yes. Yeah. Because for my day job, I watched runway a lot. Yeah. And so I would pin runway looks that I could then like get inspired and translate into a pillow. Oh. Yeah. So it was like I was always pinning fashion, yeah. and so then I became a fashion influencer. It's a I'm, lot of pressure well, I, for me. <laughs> so you start, you end up with your own blog all the way yeah. through. And yeah. eventually, so was it easy at the beginning to 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 monetize your? I mean, you're making actually, money blogging, yes. right? Yeah. So, uh, and this is super rare. Yeah. I had my first sponsored post within three months of launching. Oh wow! What was your first sponsored of. post? It was just like a gift guide for a, a company that does like a bunch of super gifty things, like really weird gift ideas. Yeah. And um. I think it was like for $300 and I was like, we're rich. That's amazing. <laughs> we're rich. Yeah. And so from there, it just kind of grew. And then I'm in this period, like the past couple of years of diversifying. Yeah. So that, you know, it's like in summer blogging slower, there's fewer sponsorships. Yeah. Let's have something else. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I like to have a lot of things. Can't sit still. What do you want to try next? Um, I actually am thinking of taking like a sabbatical type situation and yeah. I don't know what that looks like. Hashtag as, band life. Right. No, I as agree. like a, a social media like personality. Mm -hmm. I'm like what does that look like? Yeah. Because it can be depleting to be like posting every day and feel this need to like constantly be sharing. Yeah. And there is definitely like there's this Jojo Tastic Joanna yeah. and then there's Joanna Joanna. And it's like not everybody knows that I'm like sleeping in my truck in Montana. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, yeah. but but that's what fuels me. And so some of what I've been doing is pulling those things together a little bit more yeah. so that if I take a sabbatical in the van or the sailboat or whatever, or whatever. it feels more natural. Yeah. Um, I'm also just thinking of ways that like, like I miss making things. Yeah. You know, like I used to draw, paint. Like with your like hands, I not really, just writing. Yeah, and I don't know if you know, but I narrative. use my hands a lot when yeah, I talk. Yeah, yeah. So I really miss using my hands. So it's yeah. like, I want to, like, is it ceramics? Am I painting again? Like something like that. Even if it's just personal, yeah. I miss that. Yeah. I don't know. I think that there's a, when, when it comes to uh, social media or personalities, influencers, things like that, we were, the idea of authenticity it's, uh, <laughs> that is it's, such a buzzword. I know. Where's it, the like, er, er, I know, like, it totally is. Like, yeah. if you want to see authentic, right? Yeah. Like, like yeah. here's me in the loo, right? Like, but nobody, <laughs> I think in general that, that um, there's a, not only a tolerance, but people want to see people yeah. recharge. They want to yes. see them be human. They want to totally. see them. But like through all of my trips to like the hospital and everything, like my followers have always been there. Like, essentially, it's like a cheering section. Yeah. And it's incredible. Yeah. You know, because it's like, I can have a shit day, and they're just like, you're amazing. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> these people have really become a part of my life. Yeah. Where it's like, I, I really, if I could, I would just like, thank them yeah. every day. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I couldn't do this without yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm freaking lucky. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, op op Opa? Opa. Opa. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Thanks for being on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. This is wonderful. All right. Opa. Opa. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. Thanks, Joanna, for being on the show. If you like what you saw and you dig what we're doing here, then subscribe uh, or hit a like button. Or I think, the, I think there's a bell somewhere that you can ring on the page. Do that. And if you have a mistake, a f up, whatever it is, then go to fups.com. We'd love to hear from you.